What is going on guys? This is my new to me 1997 Boxster 986. I thought I would continue with the uh, cheap mods and uh, try this bike rack out. I totaled my daily, which was a Mazda Speed 3 2010. It had a roof rack, still have that roof rack, but it obviously doesn't fit on this soft top. This is an Oligate, I think is how you say that suction of rack use these little compressors to uh, suction it to the back of the car we're gonna take this on the trail today see how it does let's get on the trails and uh, enjoy the afternoon I think we uh, think we have a way to bring a bike until I find another daily so I'm actually looking at a 944 as well as a couple of Mini Coopers. Oh wow, look at that. No one is here, awesome. Such a cool, cool area, and I have it all to myself, so that's freaking awesome. Trailhead right over there. It, uh, it didn't loosen up one bit. I'm gonna leave it on while I ride. My only real fear there is these things are fairly easy to remove. Just pop up here and here and pull. And uh, so, if someone really wanted to steal it, they could. That's that. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can, but that's on Velcroed. Then we gotta undo this. And it should lift her right off just like my, oh yeah. Very nice. Frunk has the spare tire. And lock the brake, and we are good to go. It's been a long time since I've been out here. So this is gonna be slow. But hopefully fun. Hopefully not damaging to my body. It has been a long time though, so I'm a little gun shy. So far, so good. There we go, that's a little better. Still a little damp out here. We had a lot of rain over the last few weeks. This is definitely not dry and dusty, I should say. It's not bad. Got rid of the leaves, at least. A lot of gradual climbing on this first section. Look how pretty that is. All that greenery. It's great. No real boulders, just a lot of, of little rocks to make your ride unstable and bumpy.
but I needed this after a month of not being able to come out on trails so I didn't have a rack and the bike won't fit on the Porsche and I haven't replaced my daily the Mazda Speed uh, this is good good purchase good purchase So what do you guys think I should get for my daily? Mini, a 944 from the 80s, which is probably a stupid idea for a daily, or uh, something else. I'm trying to not do, go too crazy as far as price. I'm gonna keep it under 10,000, because I want it to be something that, you know, don't, uh, I don't have to worry about every day paint wise and stuff so my door dings it won't lose my mind that's by the way actually why i like silver it hides a lot of that damage if you do get it hides key marks hides door dings this is a good color for that. Probably one of the best colors I've had. I had white, black, red, gold, sand, gray. What else have I had? Green, metallic. It just seems to work better. Wow, what a great day. Beautiful day outside. Although I will admit it's a little muggy. It's like 89 and kind of humid in here, but still good. Back uphill. A little grown up out here hadn't been ridden that much I don't think since all the rains a little bad I can see tread but nothing crazy like usual almost didn't come out a little worried about the rack. I was worried about my fitness. I was worried about the heat, to be honest. I'm glad I did, though. It's nice. And, you know, I'm so close. Why not? Let's go. Let's go left. of the days I ride freaking fast. Don't have the fitness for it, skill level, or even desire to do that anymore. Thought the trail went that way. It's this way. There we are. Which way? I think I'm gonna go left. Go left, loop around, back to the right. I was gonna go right do left but it's what I traditionally do 
Even though some sections give me trouble. We'll stick with tradition today. I'll do the blame game here and say something that I think is relevant, even though it's just place of blame where it shouldn't be, which is I do think I've got just a little too much air in my tires. So they do kind of, they're kind of bouncing me around, whereas normally they're a little more planted. So I think I may have, may have overdid it just a bit for the conditions. But, hey, a good rider could come out of that without blame, right? Slow rider, yes. Good rider, not so much. Ow. And that's the whole point, right? Sometimes I wish I could get back to racing fitness, racing days even. At 53, being out of it for so very long, it's just not gonna be a thing. I'd rather be safe and healthy and enjoy my afternoon than another broken collarbone and months of recovery. <laughs> Been there, done that. It's so nice out here, just all by myself. I'm kind of glad nobody's out here. Let's fall and break something, then, then I'm gonna wish somebody was out here. <laughs> I think we're good. Famous last words. I forgot how much gradual incline this has over some of the other trails in the area. It's a lot. Not a lot of coasting, not a lot of downhill or flat, but it doesn't miss out on aggressive uphill, so it kind of catches you off guard. It's super gradual. It's kind of in between gears, actually. At least for my old ass. Another thing I'm being a little careful of, more of my glasses, not contacts, and the lens on the left isn't super secure. It keeps wanting to pop out the pressure, so. Trying to be a little careful of that, too. Well, it's weird. Mess up on areas I fail, or mess up on areas I usually clear clear fell all your areas. That's weird. Hope the GoPro is doing the GoPro effect and making this look like a 
sandy beach because we wouldn't want we wouldn't want anybody thinking this is the least bit challenging <laughs> it's really not it's not it's not bad just gotta take it slow and easy With all the storms, it's in really good condition, though. I've either come out and done maintenance, or we just got really lucky because we had tornadoes come through. So I kind of expected it to be a lot worse. And it looks great, basically. Another appeal. Got the tree in my helmet. That was fun. And we're back to the beginning. Where we went in left, coming out right. Back up hill. You guys couldn't tell from earlier, I'm riding my vintage Gary Fisher Sugar One race system. XT, XTR, and a full suspension. Rock shock sit up front, air shock, and then a uh, Fox. Can't remember which one anyway. Air shock in the back. One thing it's telling me is I need to run more. My quads and calves are not as strong as they should be. These rocks are kind of beating me down. Making me tired. Sorry guys, so my uh, GoPro video battery died mid-ride, so I don't know how much of that we got out. But at any rate, I'll go home, update that video, and get it out to you guys. What did I learn? Well, I learned that suction cup actually works pretty well, so I don't need these. As far as the rack goes, this Olegain from ebay i think you can probably get them on amazon as well but as far as they go i would definitely feel more secure with this rack on top of a flat roof like my mazda speed but uh yeah i feel pretty confident in it now i'm not uh not too worried about it i will use it i will not leave it on the car i know some people leave them on the car that will not stay on this boxster 986 Overall, it works very, very well. And uh, I'll put a link below in the description or in the comments for that so you guys can go pick one of those up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, peace. Be good to each other.